Hey everybody, um, we are at topic one, lesson four, comparing and ordering real numbers. So what we're looking at right now is how do we compare any real numbers, whether they're rational or irrational. And you'll remember from lesson two that both rational and irrational numbers are real numbers. In fact, all the numbers we're going to use in middle school are real numbers. A real number is any number that can be located on a number line. This includes integers, fractions, decimals, positives, negatives, whatever you need. Now, the irrational numbers, we learned how to what I call intelligently approximate. Um, it's not perfect, but we can figure out where they fit in the order. Note, if the real number is a square root, you're going to need to simplify or approximate it in order to figure out where it fits. And then you're going to want to convert fractions and decimals as needed. The biggest one I want to remind all of my students to do is remember to pay attention to the negative values. Every once in a while, we just forget that that negative sign is there. So we're going to start with which is greater. Okay, these are real numbers that we know or can approximate the value of. 20 ninths. Okay, well, I know that it's more than one. In fact, I know it's more than two. So if I do a simple division problem, I can figure out that that's 18 and that's two, one, 18, and that's just going to continue to be two repeating. So this is 2.2 .2 and it's going to keep going. Okay. The square root of six isn't perfect. Well, I know that it's bigger than the square root of four, which is two. I know it's smaller than the square root of nine, which is three, and it's a teeny bit closer. So I'm going to say that it's about 2.4. Maybe might be 2.45, but it's right in that range. Well, 2.2 or 2.4 it's very easy for me to show now which one has greater value. That is where things like estimating really come in handy because all you're looking for is which one's larger. Now, what if I had a whole bunch of numbers and I need to figure out which these are from least to greatest? Okay, well, my best option is going to be to figure out about what each one is worth. Okay, the square root of three is just a little less than the square root of four. Okay, so I might say that that's about, sorry, 1.5. One ninths, well, could also be written as seven thirds, okay, or two and one third, which is 2.3. The square root of seven, okay, that's going to follow this up here pretty well. The square root of seven is going to be between the square root of 9 and the square root of 4. So between 2 and 3, a little closer. So maybe we'll say 2.6. Okay, 2.6. Negative 2.9 is already in a decimal form. 5 thirds. Well, that would be 1 and 2 thirds or 1.6 repeating. So now for each one of these, I have a decimal value that I can put in order. Now I could use a number line 
I'll put zero here. One, two, three. One, two, three. The really great thing about a number line is sometimes it just helps you organize them. So the first one, 1 1.8, would be almost here. And that's the square root of 3. 2.3, well, that's going to be here-ish. Okay, and that was 21 ninths. The square root of 7 we said was about 2.6. Okay, so that one could be the square root of 7. Negative 2.9, remember I warned you not to forget the negatives, so here's going to be negative 2.9. Okay, and then five thirds, one and two thirds, that's going to be 1.8. It's going to be a little bit less, so five thirds. Now, if I look at what is essentially really messy scratch paper, I have the order, so I can write them down. Negative 2.9, then five thirds then the square root of 3, then 21 ninths, then the square root of 7. So please use this tool. That's all it is. It's a tool to help you get these things in order and not forget any of them. Um, feel free to use color if you made ones different colors that might help you especially when it gets crowded uh, okay but use those things to organize you and then you'll um, do really well with putting them in order the other thing i really want to caution you is make sure when you're reading these that you pay attention to the order of the words whether it's least to greatest or greatest to least. Um, you'll get both in math problems. Um, so always pay attention to the order. Have a great day. Thanks.